Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day. We are in a little bit of a different situation today. I hope the sound is okay, I know it's a little echoey, but today we'll be doing a Trader Joe's haul. I love watching vlogs where people go grocery shopping and seeing what they get because I'm kind of nosy, you know? So I figured like people do Trader Joe's hauls all the time, so I would do one. Now I typically don't shop at Trader Joe's most of the time because one, it's pricey, and two, I feel like it's not a really a store you can like fully grocery stop in unless you're like, fancy you know but for like a few things here and there and snacks and some builders for meals i think it's a really good place to go and it's more organic and stuff than other places you know it just feels fancier when you're in there and they have some really good finds they don't have it like regular grocery stores because they have their own brand so today we're doing a trader just haul let's start off with refrigerated items first also, you guys, I do have a shop, theopencrypt.com. If you're interested, I do have a bunch of wax belts, candles, accessories, earrings, all kinds of stuff, even blankets on my shop. If you want to check it out, I'll leave it linked down below. It's all hand-built or handmade by me. And now, let's start with the grocery items. I said we're going to start with frozen stuff first, like refrigerated stuff. None of it's actually, like, frozen section. So the first thing is these Trader Joe's brands fresh mozzarella cheese snackers. They're just these little snackers they come in little pods of mozzarella cheese the back is like this breathable mesh material and they're just little cheese pods for my husband to snack on these are eight pouches it says so little fresh mozzarella balls which are super cute and also the, just the packaging itself i thought was really pretty next up as far as refrigerated things go we have this trader joe's brand again because a lot of their stuff is their own brand chicken pot pie with chunks of chicken and freshly or fresh vegetables and a flaky crust love chicken pot pie this is like really like big like it's a really large one so i figured this be like a really cute southern lunch for the two of us me and my husband so that was that one that was the only like meal thing that we got and most of it's like snacks and builders and stuff that was the only like real meal i was thinking about tiki masala but i think fresh indian food is just always better other chicken things though because we had two more refrigerated things i got two packs of the fully cooked chicken breast these are like actual big chunks of chicken fully cooked and i thought these were great to have in the house because i cook a lot of crock pot meals because southern again and then i the only thing i actually have to cook with crock pot meals typically is just the chicken i'm tired of just cooking chicken and then put everything in the crock pot and letting it melt for a long time i'd rather just go ahead and toss everything in at once let the crock pot do its magic and that saves me a lot of time like it's already fully cooked i think these were 5.99 which like for all this chicken and it's already cooked for me it's pretty good deal now that was it for the refrigerated things we only got four refrigerated things the rest of it is this big bag <laughs> which has like a little Christmassy theme to it like an elf there was a whole bunch of like seasonal things there but I let my husband pick out some things because he never went to Trader Joe's before this was his first visit to Trader Joe's we'll have him pop in in a minute and tell us his experience like as someone who's never been to this store before it's just a fancy grocery store and it's overpriced but they have good things that other people don't have the first thing he picked out were these trader joe's ridge cut potato uh, chips with sea salt great for dipping this is like a really dense heavy bag like the chips come up to here on the bag so only this is air which i would say for lays would be like chips down here all this air i know it's so they don't break during shipping and everything this is a really big dense bag of chips and it really wasn't that bad of a price and if you love like french onion dip i feel like that's a great option for you now a snack that i picked out because i was interested but i don't technically know what mochi is i think mochi i think ice cream mochi so this is the crispy crunchy spicy trader joe's mochi mochi rice nuggets so it's spicy mochi nuggets like crispy nuggets of just crunchy spiciness like look they have little faces on them they're really excited for this camping adventure except this one and um 160 calories for nine nuggets it's not great but it's not terrible and i love spicy stuff so i thought we would try this just good snackies the snacky that i demanded every time i go to trader joe's which really isn't that frequent so when i do go i make sure i grab the one thing i love to snack on the most and that is their organic garlic naan crackers these are so good i love naan but these are more like just i don't really think they're naan because naan is typically a soft bread they're more of like a thicker crunchy cracker and they're garlicky and they're so delicious and they're baked just right and they're toasted these are absolutely phenomenal if you get one thing from trader joe's i know it's kind of an overwhelming store layout wise it's like always weird laid out these are so good these are just delicious garlicky crackers they're so good your breast's gonna smell bad afterwards though just that's just how it is with garlic next up recommended from someone i know this was something they recommended i was like 
Yes, that sounds like something I absolutely need in my life. So these are the Trader Joe's Habanero Lime Flour Tortillas. They're a medium heat with a hint of lime. And that sounds so good. I make a lot of taco bowls, again, in the crock pot, you know? And these are so good. You get 10 tortillas. Um, it doesn't, they're good till the 25th, so I gotta use them pretty quickly. These do get fat, like, spire faster than regular tortillas. But, like, habanero lime tortillas in this beautiful orange color, like, I could not buy them, you know? Like, could not buy them. Although, typically, with old tortillas, we give them to turtles. We go to little ponds and feed the turtles. I don't know if turtles can have habanero lime tortillas. I really know if that's a good idea. Anyways, next up, another husband pick for the Trader Joe's haul. As soon as you walk in, there was like this plate of bakery stuff. So this is the Trader Joe's glazed vanilla bean scones. These look so good, you guys. They're not like overly sugary looking, which is nice. They're just like a little glazed stone. Scone, not stone, but this is the next thing. Little bakery item there. I think everything we got was Trader Joe brand, actually, which is pretty on par. Next thing, this is already opened. I put it back in the bag for the haul. <laughs> This is the Trader Joe's spec, speculoos, 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 cookie butter spread. This is a cookie butter. It's basically a very sweet, very thick version of peanut butter. It is deliciously unusual with a crushed Belgian biscuits and warm flavors of holiday spiced bread. It basically just tastes like a really thick, hearty, sweet-ish peanut butter it's basically what it is but it's very very thick i'll show you since we opened it it's very very thick in there so also that was marshmallow fluff don't judge us okay <laughs> cookie butter isn't my thing but i thought he would really enjoy it because it's a little bit different than just regular peanut butter which i love <laughs> next up we got a dip because again taco bowls you know taco bowls you can go ahead and add your dips and your sauces and everything in it it makes it so much better just cook it all together i don't like cold salsa in particular so i do always mix it in this is the trader joe's chipotle black bean dip i mean i love black beans i love beans in general and this already looks smooth and stuff so i thought it looked really nice but just the different hues of color in here and for making a black bean dip i mean i'm gonna go ahead and open it actually let's see what it smells like Ooh, it smells really nice. It kind of smells like refried beans, but with the black bean kind of frijole thing going on. It smells good. It's very thick. It's actually darker on the top than it is on the bottom. And then lastly, another husband pick. I don't really eat dried fruit. Let me know down below if you like dried fruit. But this is the Trader Joe's dried fruit, freeze-dried strawberries, unsweetened and old sulfur. Just a little snacky dude, you know? Like, I feel like Trader Joe's is great for snacks and additions to meals. Not necessarily for fully grocery shopping because, you know... That's expensive. Now I'm gonna go grab my man and ask him his experience about going to Trader Joe's for the first time. Okay, honey, I've recruited you. Why do you look taller than me? Cause I am. You're not. Anyways, tell us your experience with going to Trader Joe's for the first time since the other day you like, didn't know what it was. Somebody might fight me. Who's gonna fight you? <laughs> so my experiences for those that, so for those that know what an Aldi is, it's basically a a college person's food store where everything's super cheap. Trader Joe's is basically the Target of Aldi's. So it's amazing because Target's amazing. It's exactly the same like thing, but it's overpriced. See, Aldi doesn't have as many like unique fun snacks. There are, They're not their own brand. There are a couple of Trader Joe's is all their of, own brand. Of good snacks in Trader Joe's. But for the most part, it's, it's, it's the Target version of Aldi's. But what does Target version mean? Because it's pretty and flashy? Uh, Target is the expensive version of Walmart. That's not true. We both yeah. got each other presents from Target and they were slightly cheaper. That's just because I knew I could pick it up at that moment. Well, regardless, did you like the trip? Yeah, it was fine. It was fine? Yeah. I That's mean, I don't think snacks. we could full either Aldi or Trader Joe's. I don't think you can fully grocery shop there. You can get some bits and bobbles. Yeah. I don't think I would fully shop at either one of those stores. No, no, not at all. Um, but thank you for sharing your experience. I hope you had fun, and we will be back for probably more of those tortillas. I oh, know I haven't had them yet. I know. They look so good, though. Like the habanero and lime. They look fresh. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Tell them to like and subscribe and check out my shop. OpenCrypt.com. OpenCrypt.com. The OpenCrypt.com. The. The OpenCrypt.com. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys.